everybody. It's social media producer Tom Barnes of the WGN Morning News. Now, if you've been a fan of our morning show, you know for years and years and years we've done the whole fantasy costume thing, right? Where we go there, we put on some costumes, we hang out, and uh, for obvious reasons, that's not happening this year. But that doesn't mean that you don't need a costume for whatever you might be doing for Halloween. So I'm going to head inside and talk to my friend Kathy, who's helped us for years when we've done our round towns here for the WGM Morning News. That's going to be the Chicago scene for today. Last minute Halloween costume ideas at Fantasy Costumes. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, so we're days away from Halloween. We're at Fantasy Costume in the uh, rental section with my friend Jason. How are you doing, Jason? I'm doing fine. And how about yourself? I'm all right. A little busy, huh? Oh, yeah. Definitely. It's uh, crunch time. Crunch time, yeah. yeah. So we're by the rentals. People are renting out some costumes now. Somebody's starting a Deadpool costume there. Oh, yeah. Why don't you just walk me through a little bit of like what do you guys have that are busy right now or popular right uh, now definitely. when we're looking at right now? Okay. Like a lot of the popular stuff. It's always definitely Star Wars is uh, a number one seller every year along with uh, the superheroes like, you know, Batman, um, Black Panther is definitely one of the ones that have been flying off the mm -hmm. shelves. Um, and then, like, a lot of people are doing, like, classic, like, wrestlers. Like, we have, like, All those, uh, Rey Mysterio. Huh. <laughs> right over here. Are those ones that are kind of surprising that they're so popular? Yeah. Too? It's, I mean, like, we're selling, like, the masks separate, and we also sell the, the prepackaged costumes. And also in the rental department, we have, um, the Ultimate Warrior. So, <laughs> it's like... To, the Ultimate Warrior costume to rent yes. off. So, people have been, like, groups have been doing that. That's really? a concept. Mm -hmm. Hopefully everybody that they're quarantining with, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so people who haven't been here before, this place is massive for, yeah. it's just, there's costumes galore. I mean. Costumes, accessories, makeup, wigs. It's basically a one-stop shop. So, And you guys sell um, costumes that are old school and the oh, new yeah. ones that we saw before. Yes. We're just kind of walking around. Mm -hmm. um, from WGM, we've used, we probably have tried on 50% of the <laughs> costumes, and we've been there doing this for 20 years. Yes. Uh, yet, you still have so many more that we haven't seen, but mm -hmm. there's some more fun ones. Oh, yeah. It's like the, the Chucky, and then we also so. have in the kids section, we have uh, the Bride of Chucky. Okay. So, it's like... Right on. And then um, Rocky, Taco, so these are little movies, the puffy shirt from Seinfeld. <laughs> yes. And then uh, Rocky, uh, Top Gun... Um, there's like stuff like the nun costumes from like the movie The Nun, so people have been utilizing oh, that as a base sure. and just doing the makeup work. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Why don't we walk over to the, um, just because I think it's one of the things that people don't know about, but it's one of the unique things, that all the makeup stuff you have and the accessories. Yes. So here's some of it now. Yeah, we have uh, in each aisle we have different ex accessories that can work with your costume ideas. Yeah, then there's this, like this island of awesome. Oh yeah, an extensive line of makeups that we carry, like liquid latexes if you wanted to build um, like special effects, like buddy gore type stuff. We have That's makeup. all happening here? Oh yeah, and then we also have like makeup here, which also can be utilized for everyday or glam makeup. Okay. And then uh, well, you we have all the prosthetic things. pieces here. If you wanted gouges, 3D burns, if you wanted to blacken out your eyes so it looks like they've been gouged out. Huh. And then, of course... Do you guys give tips on any of this stuff? You guys yeah, have Because you've been doing it for so long, you guys yeah, probably um, know how to do a lot of it, huh? Yeah, a lot of us here have been here for quite an amount of time, so we've pretty much picked up and kind of like like mastered like no, like the no, no, the how-to mm -hmm. end of uh, how to execute your makeup ideas okay mm -hmm. and then you have fun let's we'll squeeze down this aisle just because there's nobody down this one um but these are some more fun things that people can expect that are kind of what the accessories to things yes we have we have swords we have knives we have um we have play guns we have lightsabers we have all types of stuff that accoutrements that can be used for any of your costume ideas what's uh, one of the favorite things that you sell here Favorite things as far as just like, one of your favorite things that you guys sell. Oh man, um, one of my favorite stuff was uh, the Ghostbusters, uh, the um, the exoplasm, like uh, little the gun and then the, the backpack, the proton pack. Yeah, the proton pack. 
spot. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that one? Uh, if we still have it, it'll be in the showcase up front over All right. Here. Well, let's go walk over there anyway, just because Mark sees us. Pardon me. Thank you. So here's another section. This is the kids' area, kids' oh, yeah. room. So those would be the meter, the PKE meter, the ecto goggles. We were probably sold out by now of the of the proton packs. Right. So I mean, you guys have a lot of things, but a lot of things are going because we're right up against the Halloween right. holiday. But mm -hmm. how uh, how late are you guys open till up until Halloween uh, well, day? Um, today uh friday and saturday we're open till 9 30 p.m okay and then on saturday we're open till 8 p.m wait say that one more time uh we're open till 8 p.m on saturday 8 p.m sorry. okay mm -hmm. let's go real quick over here because i think there's a whole other section where oh yeah. um it's not just costumes yes but you have i mean you have a whole section of masks right these are this is our uh Horror movie mask section. We have like thousands of masks. If you didn't want to go with the makeup route and you just wanted to wear a mask, and then we also have like hands, gloves. We have oh, kind of match down there, right? Oh yeah, stuff that can definitely match with with whichever mask you choose. Looks yeah. I mean, there's just so many things here. Like if you can't find something here, it's not here. It's oh, not. Yeah. It doesn't. It's not made. It doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then if you really want to get real into it, you got your makeup, you yes. got your costume, mm -hmm. and then you have your wigs. And we have our wigs, and then we have our stylist. She's been in the business for 40 years. And you she have a stylist on staff. I didn't know yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And then she actually like made those wigs up there. Mm -hmm. And then she styled the Queen of Hearts wig right there. Oh, cool. She's definitely an expert in her craft. Do you need to make an appointment with the stylist? Uh, it's suggested to call yeah. ahead of time to make sure that she's aware of, of what your idea is and then your budget and then she can work with you. And then what's in this room? This is the sexy costume. This is the naughty room, huh? <laughs> yes. Let's see if we can go in here without getting in trouble. Mm -hmm. This is basically <laughs> the sexy room. We have women's oh, boots. We have all the tights. We have corsets. Sexy renditions of superheroes. Superheroes. Yeah, I mean, why not? Mm -hmm. I didn't know you guys had oh, yeah. all this stuff. When we're here, it's usually really early in the morning. We're halfway, oh, yeah. half asleep. I mean, although I'm sure it feels like Paul Conrad shopped here one time or another. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, Oh, it's like the gamut of sexy wraps, wraps around. A lot of costumes, a lot of uh, ideas have been turned yeah. to cater the sexy uh, demographic of costume ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these are fun. Mm -hmm. and then that's the real naughty over there. We won't go over there. We'll just stay okay. over here. <laughs> All right. Uh, for people, the number to call for. Uh, store. The store, yeah. Uh, area code seven seven. And there's Kathy. She didn't want to be on camera, but sure anyway. <laughs> All right. So it's area code seven seven three. Uh huh. Seven 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 zero two 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 zero two. So uh, thank you very much for hanging out and showing around. I think Kathy, you're going to show me that one room you were talking about. The thing about the warehouse, yeah. Yeah. We've never been to the warehouse. Never he's the like, house. he's like, Jesus, like, I don't ever have a keys. One of you two are going to show me. Uh, you want to grab the keys, every time I yeah. Every he's time terrified. I get he doesn't want. Well, all right. We're going to do that in a second. Thank you very much for hanging out. All right. right. The Dungeon Warehouse. And I've done around town for like 10 years or so, and I don't think we've ever been back here. So this is kind of Restock the store over there. Let's restock the store. Yeah. Here. I probably should close this, huh? Yeah, you can pull it shut. There's lights in here. The guy who don't come down here very often don't know where they are. <laughs> All right, so we are in the bowels of a uh, the fantasy costume uh, labyrinth of storage with Kathy, who helps us out on the uh, around town fantasy costumes. Yeah, so this is all of our like just this is where we restock our store from. So if we run out of, you know, a reindeer during Christmas time, mm -hmm. we just run over here and grab another couple and throw them back down at the store. And then we have all of our Halloween animatronics and anything that we stock in the store 
is probably over here in bulk. Okay. And we just keep pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. And this has been here for as long as you've known, right? Uh, this has been here probably for the last 20 years that okay. we've had this storage facility. Um, and before that, I think it was a ceramic shop. Oh, well, that so, makes sense. Well, why don't you lead us through a little walk through the maze? Well, yeah, so like I said, you know, adult costumes, kids' costumes. <laughs> the adult costumes um, are big. Thanksgiving, big Christmas, section. Easter, kids, I mean, every, you name it. The, it's, we have it here. We got, oh, so this oh, is okay. essentially your pantry. Pretty if much. we're talking if instead yeah. of pantries, like, it's just... Yeah, I mean, if, you know, we run out of tiggers in whatever size, we come down here, we restock the shelves over there. That's a lot of tigger. But in addition to this here, in Air each beers. room mm -hmm. at the store, we have a warehouse on the back of it. So, like, we have a storage room that... So, if we run out of there, we just grab a box and restock that oh. and then stock the shelves. So, Mannequins. I mean, it just goes on. It does go on. Now it's like in another so, part. So. Then we have, you know, masks and accessories and, you know... Pink ladies' know, pink jacket. Pink ladies' jackets. These are our uh, <laughs> big mascots that we rent, so... We store some of these down here that we don't rent it as often. Uh, it's a tomato and apple. We don't rent that as often. Or the smiley strawberry. <laughs> but this actually back here is empty compared to what it normally is because we've been doing our warehouse sales. So we've just been liquidating everything and trying to, oh, yeah. you know, Harry Potter wand and glasses. Revamp and so, I mean, this is, we store all our Christmas stuff down here. Yeah, you haven't even had many people back here like me, right? No, no one's ever been back no here. No one's ever so I'm the first! <laughs> yeah, no one has ever come back here other than our employees. Apparently this is Santa's dry cleaners. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We help them out. Yep. So it just, it keeps going on and on and on. My goodness. I think, I think there's like, I don't know, is it 10 plus thousand square feet here? 18 wow. foot ceilings and... And complete with a uh, snowblower. Just in case. Oh, yeah. well, that's fun. In case yeah, it snows so in here. So this, this is where, you know... All the magic happens. It's behind the scenes. Yeah, this is very much behind the scenes of very, of a lot of Halloween, or not even Halloween costumes, but costumes in general. For How do you think kids do projects in school throughout the years where they have to do uh, dress-up presentations? So if you need to be a Roman soldier or, you know, a war hero or whatever it may be. Or a plastic eagle mask. Or, or a plastic eagle mask. Wait, is that like from Eagle Man? Uh, that one is not, but actually, the... the <laughs> The urban legend, if you will, told to me um, that costume was originally bought through Fantasy Costumes oh for the gentleman who owns that insurance company. No kidding. That is what I've been told. Ah, that makes sense. He ordered it from us, and yeah, we got it from him. Well, this is fun. Uh, thank you for the uh, walk and talk. Uh, some boas, if you yeah. need it. Sexy clearance costumes here on the left. Ooh, oh, yo. Let's see. Maybe this Conrad can use one of these for his uh, weather and leather segment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these, these are all clearance stuff, sample sales. We have racks down at the store. People have been buying them like crazy. And then there's just boxes and boxes of things. This is all Easter bunnies. That's all. That could be yeah, slightly so terrifying. Yeah, down come Easter. They all get laundered <clears throat> and sanitized and get oh, ready I see. for the season. Um, Wigs in bulk. Oh, that's what they are. Okay. Yeah. Like... These are all different color wigs different styles well, let's see what's over here just because santa's chairs we store those oh look at too. that we could use one of these for our toy drive mannequin body parts for your uh halloween displays if you need that's pretty creepy yeah that's creepy that's fine though not more creepy than the weird creaking we're hearing in the background as we're walking through here <laughs> <laughs> you heard that too that's yeah just, i did that's just the wind sure but yeah Hi, these are all kids costumes more sexy costumes. These are actually rental clearance stuff because um, we have so much in our rental department that we pulled a bunch of stuff out and you know can buy things almost like a thrift sale. So two dollars, five dollars. Oh know, wow! Just kind of liquidating. And that's what people so much. and they can just come in the store and ask for that right now. Yeah, this is put away just because we don't have the space for it right now. But right. <clears throat> as soon as uh, Halloween's over, we'll pull that back out and. A lot of theater companies come and shop with us, mm -hmm. so, you know... What about the, the um... Obviously not now with COVID, but... What about the, um, like the TV shows filmed in town? Uh, they do come a lot, actually. Um, things are a little different now. Sure, but um, in normal times. We just had, actually, Chicago Fire, when they, uh, started filming maybe a month or so ago, mm -hmm. come in and get some props for their Halloween episode, so... Huh. Yeah, Cinespace comes a lot and gets a lot of things for the 
Yeah, the shell's filmed here. Well, and then there's that. So we might, that's a good spot to end on. The guy in the ostrich thing. What is that? Huh. It's, it's a guy riding an ostrich. Yeah, sure is. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, uh, Kathy, thank you for the behind the scenes tour. I appreciate it. And uh, happy Halloween. Thank you. you as well. All right. We'll see you. All right. Fantasy costume never disappoints. Behind the scenes look in their big giant storage warehouse right here on Milwaukee. You saw inside the uh, store earlier and they said they still have thousands of costumes and hundreds of masks and they'll have them after Halloween. So if you think you might not have what you want, uh, they'll have it. I'm pretty sure judging from that warehouse inside there. Uh, T B A R N A S at WGNTV.com. T Barnes at WGNTV.com. If you like some for the Chicago scene, fantasy's open till Halloween through Halloween. So if you got some or if you got an idea, I'm sure they can help you with it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.